You're looking in the mirror and something feels different. Maybe your facial hair looks thinner, your muscles look softer, or your eyes look more tired than usual. You might think it's just part of getting older, but for many men, the real reason is low testosterone. Hello, I'm Dr. Barron, and in this video, we'll go over 10 signs of low testosterone that many men experience, things you can actually see and feel in your body before any lab test is done. Number one, hair thinning on the body or face. Hair changes are one of the more visible signs of low testosterone, but they usually take time to appear. Testosterone helps maintain hair growth on the beard, chest, arms, and legs. When levels stay low for a while, you might notice your beard doesn't grow as thick or as fast as it used to. Some men even realize they don't need to shave as often because the hair comes in slower and lighter. Over time, body hair can also appear thinner or less dense, especially on the chest or legs. This is completely different from hair loss on the scalp. Thinning on the head isn't caused by low testosterone. It actually happens when testosterone is converted into a stronger form called dihydrotestosterone or DHT. Some men have hair follicles that are genetically sensitive to DHT, which is what leads to male pattern baldness. In fact, that can happen even when testosterone levels are normal or being replaced through testosterone therapy. So while thinning of body or facial hair can point to long-standing low testosterone, scalp hair loss comes from DHT sensitivity, not from low testosterone. Body and facial hair changes tend to develop slowly and are usually later signs that testosterone has been low for some time. Number two, fatigue. I once had a patient write on his intake form, the reason for the visit was, I'm a walking zombie. That was his exact phrase. And honestly, that might be one of the most accurate ways to describe low testosterone. You're sleeping, eating, doing what you can, but still feel drained. No matter how much rest you get, the tiredness doesn't get better. That kind of fatigue, the kind that doesn't go away with a good night rest, is one of the most common symptoms of low testosterone. And it's not just physical tiredness, it's a deeper kind of exhaustion that affects motivation, focus, and even mood. Testosterone plays a major role in how your body produces and uses energy. When levels drop, your metabolism slows down, your red blood cell production can decrease, and your muscles don't recover as efficiently. Many men describe it as running on empty. You can push through the day, but everything takes much more effort than it should. Number three, increased belly fat and a softer appearance. The next change many men notice is the thicker waistline, even when their overall weight doesn't change much. You might step on the scale and see the same number, but your body looks and feels different. That's because low testosterone changes how your body stores fat. Instead of keeping a lean, firm build, more fat begins to collect around the abdomen. Over time, that creates the softer, rounder look many men describe as dad bod. This isn't just a cosmetic issue. Belly fat actually releases an enzyme called aromatase, which converts testosterone into estrogen. That process lowers testosterone even further, creating a cycle that can be hard to break. You might also notice that clothes fit tighter around the waist, even if your weight hasn't changed, or that your body feels less toned overall. Many men also experience the loss of muscle definition in the arms and chest as body fat creeps up. Number four is trouble building muscle even when you work out. I see quite a few firefighters in my practice and something interesting keeps coming up. These guys are some of the fittest, most disciplined people you will ever meet. They train hard, eat clean, and live active lives. Yet many of them tell me the same thing. Doc, no matter how hard I work out, I just can't build muscle like I used to. When we check their labs, it's not uncommon to find that their testosterone level is low. And the reason is not just age or diet, it's actually the nature of their job. Firefighters are constantly dealing with three major challenges that can lower testosterone, heat, toxins, and poor sleep. First, heat. The protective gear they wear traps a lot of body heat. Whether they are at the scene of a fire or even during training, the temperature under that uniform can get extremely high. 
that trapped heat raises the body temperature and the temperature around the testicles. The testicles are very sensitive to heat, so when they get too warm, they stop producing as much testosterone. Then there is toxin exposure. Firefighters breathe in and come into contact with chemicals released from burning materials. Things like plastics, paint, and wiring. Even with protective masks, small amounts of these toxins can still enter the body through the air or through the skin. Their gear can also release something called PFAS, which are forever chemicals that are used to make the fabric heat and water resistant. Over time, these can rub off onto the skin and build up in the body, and research shows that they can interfere with hormones like testosterone. And finally, sleep. Firefighters often work long shifts and get woken up several times at night for calls. Since testosterone is mostly made during deep sleep, that constant interruption lowers hormone production. So anyone with low testosterone can experience a loss of muscle and strength despite working out. You might notice your muscles feel softer, your arms and chest look smaller, or your recovery after workout takes longer. Even your grip strength can change. Weights that once felt easy suddenly feel heavy, and daily tasks like lifting bags or opening jars take more effort. It can be very frustrating, especially when you're doing everything right. Many men blame their age or exercise routine, but often the real reason is hormonal. Number five is gynecomastia. When testosterone level drops, even normal amount of estrogen can have a stronger effect on the body. This is called relative estrogen excess meaning estrogen isn't necessarily high, but it's higher compared to testosterone. That shift can cause breast tissue to grow or become tender. I recently saw a middle-aged couple who came to their appointment together. She came in to discuss menopause and starting hormone therapy, and he came in because he had been feeling tired and noticed some breast enlargement. When we reviewed their lab results together, he looked at the numbers and said, wait a minute, this is crazy my estrogen level is higher than hers. We all laughed, but he was absolutely right. Low testosterone can shift the entire hormonal balance. Even when estrogen isn't truly high, it can start acting like it is, causing breast enlargement in men and sometimes making them feel more emotional or notice more mood changes. Number six is low sex drive and fewer morning erections. Now let's talk about one of the most recognized and often the most personal signs. Men with low testosterone frequently notice changes in sexual function. Testosterone is one of the main hormones that drives libido, or sexual desire. When testosterone levels start to fall, men often notice that their interest in sex fades. It's not an overnight change. It usually happens gradually, so at first, you might just notice that intimacy happens less often or that you don't think about sex as much as you used to. Another common sign is fewer morning erections. This is something most men experience regularly when testosterone levels are healthy, and when they start disappearing, it's a strong clue that hormone levels are lower than they should be. It's important to understand that this is not just psychological. Testosterone affects several parts of the body involved in sexual function. It helps maintain healthy blood flow, nerve sensitivity, and even energy and confidence level that influence desire. For many men, this change can affect self-esteem or relationships. But the good news is that it's often reversible once testosterone is corrected and other contributing factors like stress or sleep are addressed. Number seven is mood changes. Testosterone doesn't just affect your muscles and energy, it has a powerful impact on your mood and how you feel about life. Men with low testosterone often describe feeling less motivated, less confident, or just emotionally flat. You might notice yourself getting irritated over things that never used to bother you. These changes can sneak up gradually. At first, it might just feel like stress or burnout, but over time, that lack of motivation, reduced patience, or emotional numbness becomes your new normal. Many men don't even realize it's hormone-related until they look back and remember how different they used to feel. The reason for this is that testosterone directly influences brain chemistry. It helps regulate neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine 
the same chemicals that control motivation and mood. When testosterone drops, those brain chemicals don't function as efficiently, leading to lower mood and a sense of dullness or disconnection. For some men, it can look like mild depression or constant frustration that wasn't there before. You may not feel deeply sad, but you might feel unmotivated or indifferent, like life has lost some of its excitement. Number eight is brain fog and trouble concentrating. If your focus isn't as sharp as it used to be, or if you find yourself forgetting simple things more often, low testosterone might be part of the reason. Many men describe this as brain fog. You might read the same line in an email over and over before it sinks in. Forget why you walked into a room or lose your train of thought mid-sentence. Even tasks that used to come easily can start to feel mentally draining. Testosterone helps support brain function, memory, and alertness, and when levels drop, mental clarity and processing speed can slow down. Trouble sleeping, which often goes hand in hand with low testosterone, can make this even worse. Poor sleeps reduces focus, reaction time, and short-term memory. Number nine is weaker bones. Recently, a 70-year-old gentleman came to my office saying that his pants suddenly felt longer. When we measured him, we found out that he lost two inches in height and he had no idea why. His x-ray showed several small fractures in the spine. These were not major breaks, but tiny microfractures that formed slowly over time. Each one made the bones in the spine collapse a little bit and over time caused a loss of height. What is interesting is most people don't feel significant pain from these fractures. Instead, they notice stiffness, mild back pain, or trouble standing up straight. Many assume it's just normal aging, but it is often a sign of osteoporosis or weak bones. In my patient's case, the loss of height was caused by low testosterone. Testosterone helps keep bones strong and dense. When levels drop, bones can thin out, making them more likely to break, especially in the spine, hip, or wrist. And finally, number 10, decreased confidence. One of my most memorable patients was a high-profile attorney who came in and said, Doc, I don't know what's wrong, I have simply lost my edge. He told me that he used to thrive under pressure, late nights, big cases, tight deadlines, but lately things were not the same. He found himself second-guessing arguments he used to deliver with confidence. He hesitated to have difficult conversations with clients and colleagues. He began avoiding networking events that he used to enjoy. So it's not about arrogance or aggression, it's that quiet confidence that sense of drive and purpose that keeps you focused, productive, and motivated. When testosterone levels start to fall, that inner spark starts to fade without warning. Testosterone plays a role in how the brain processes reward and motivation. Healthy levels of testosterone help your brain respond to achievement and progress. They make effort feel worthwhile. When levels drop, that internal reward system quiets down and everything starts to feel heavier and less satisfying. When testosterone is restored to a healthy range, that drive and sharpness often comes back. Men commonly describe it as feeling like myself again. So if these signs sound familiar, don't ignore them. Low testosterone is very common and it's not just about age. It affects your energy, mood, muscle mass, focus, and overall health. A simple blood test can tell you where your levels are, and if they are low, we can assess for underlying causes such as pituitary problems, high prolactin, iron overload, or even genetic causes. There are safe and effective treatments that can reverse many of the symptoms. The key is to pay attention to what your body is telling you. When you start noticing changes in motivation, energy, or strength, it's worth checking your hormones rather than just pushing through. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the high cortisol video I made on the screen now because many of the signs overlap. This video is for educational purposes only, not medical advice. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.